Well, banks are my favorite game, and I just showed you how to bank one, and that's pretty much the system. But then again, I think we got to go into a little bit more detail, because if I just did that, you really wouldn't learn too much about how to bank. And this is probably one of the most common fears people have playing pool, is they don't want to bank a ball. I'm going to show you how easy it is to learn how to bank. The first thing we're going to have you do when you're learning how to bank, you have to establish the bank shot. In this case, we have the one ball on the table and the cue ball. And we're going to bank this ball across the side, they call it. And all bank shots have names. This is called a cross side. If you were to hit a ball cross corner, maybe straight out to the corner, maybe straight back, and we'll get into those later. But this is our standard rolling bank cross side. The ball's rolling into the cushion, and it's rolling off the cushion into the pocket. First step is simple. We stand back from the table, about three feet, and we simply walk up to the table behind the pocket we're going to bank the ball into. That's all we have to do. Stand back, walk up to the pocket, which is the pocket you're going to bank the ball into, and then we look across the table, and in front of the opposite pocket, there's only going to be one pocket away from you. We're going to pretend there's a mirror in front of that pocket. And if you look on the table, you see this M on the table, and that stands for the word mirror. So if you were looking at mirror, you would see not only this pocket, you'd see yourself, and that's called the mirror image. So that's step one of the rolling bank shot. Now step two is we're going to shift our body to the left. In other words, we're going to stay right here and just simply shift left toward the one ball. And on this line, from the one ball to this pocket, there's a line of a certain distance. And that distance, if I measure it with a ruler, is approximately 30 inches. And the midpoint on that line, that's what this M stands for, would be 15. So if you were in a game, you could estimate the midpoint on that line between the ball and the pocket you're going to bank it into. And that's basically the first two parts of calculating a rolling bank. Now we're going to, in a few minutes, we're going to cover how we finish this bank shot. But for right now, you have the mirror image bank, basically the mirror image pocket for the bank. You have the midpoint on this line, and we're going to do something with it very special in just a few minutes, according to Dr. Q. You don't have to play like a pro to enjoy the game I love. If you've ever played in a friend's basement, you can compete in an APA league. In the APA, everyone can play and anyone can win. So if you're looking for a fun night out with your friends and family, join an APA pool league today. Have fun, meet people, play pool. Visit poolplayers.com today.